it's going to be Hello? another, yet another of these impromptu. I keep saying it like it is true, but actually we do it this all the time. I'm just choosing to actually record a few of these and share them with you guys. So basically, we're going to be talking about boarding today, and I'm glad to have Chicken Wild Star, Gamer Geek 4000, Geek Ninja, Jason Train, hey. Kate, Maglev, Slate Gorgon, X Jack, XV, Yelby, and a number Sorry. of people with their mics either muted or uh, just sort of chilling here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about boarding. We're also going to be covering transporters. So, I've got a couple of notes here. If someone wants to start, then they can carry on. Otherwise, like from Star Trek. Take it on. So, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, like, boarding guy. Boarding. I'm like, okay. like, no idea. Who remembers in a cannon and shooting well. <laughs> So, okay, that's kind of in transporters, but yeah, um, basically how do you actually get from your ship to the other ship? That's that's the problem. You want to board someone's ship, fair enough, he's moving. He's not going to stop to let you on, you know, so unless you're going to lucky and you sneak up on him oh, in a stealth well, ship or something, you know, cover ops style. I, I, I would... A long pole with a disintegrator on the bottom is a great idea, but if they have shields, I'm afraid that you lose. But the, also, if the you know, idea is gone and your little needle's blown up. I did try it, though. Before the pirate stations the, had shields, it was a great way to get inside and away from the turret fire. Um, but yeah, that's a problem. So th I think the biggest issue here, really, is how the hell do we actually get on the ship in the first place? Because, you know... But the the ideal way to board somebody else's ship is with a shuttle and you're yeah. in gravity of the shuttle. You go up yeah. and you have another person and hope he doesn't piloting roll. the shuttle <laughs> and you, you try to keep your ship level with the other yep, ship. Yep. Like when it turns and try yeah, to stay in the gravity. Yeah, I understand what yeah. you're saying. That's that's a good Mission Impossible style way but of doing it. That's the ideal way to do it now. But who knows? There might be some way when we can get magnetic boots. Well, exactly. Like I mean, that. the first two ways I would see would be boots of some kind or a clamp of some kind. So obviously, uh -huh. you want either a boots for you or a, a clamp for you or a clamp for the ship. It doesn't really matter. Either will do, and I had basically four categories that I can think of on the spot. So you got rocket boots to get you there, and then they are magnetized when you get there. So you rocket over there, and then <clears throat> you hit space or something when you're touching it, and that would make you because there's already the you know if you hit space on something it'll make you right to that surface, correct, or with the ship, so that you can get through doors and stuff when the ship's sideways. So I'm thinking, you jump out of your ship, you rock it over there, because you can't catch up with him otherwise, it's not possible. So you rock it over there um, and magnetise yourself to the hull, at which point you can start trying to breach the ship. But before we get into that part, the only other way I could think of uh, actually getting on there would be some kind of clamping system, which would go back to the anti-dock from um, what we were talking about earlier with the... With the uh, uh, tractor, beam. tractor beams so like for example if you could anti-dock then you could have a module on your shuttle which would attach to the uh, ship in question somehow and then you would become attached to it so um, for example that would then leave you able to walk around in the gravity of the ship without falling off you know uh, similar to what you were saying slate with the hovering about above it but obviously if you're locked on he can't just fly away and have you fall out of the gravity um, uh, have you ever... hello <laughs> <laughs> yes i stopped talking yeah, like, oh yeah. sorry mind blown yeah um, <laughs> yeah sorry the only other way there was a fourth sorry it was a hook you know, some kind of hook, you know, that you Grand could tether, hook. yeah, uh, and that would be Grand either point. for the player yeah. or for the, uh, you know, a tether, basically. It would either be for the astronaut or for the ship. I think it would probably work better for the astronaut because of the way that you might be swinging around there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I was thinking maybe it could be like a missile. You shoot at another ship. Yep. And if it hits, then you can have a player load up to whatever computer or, or whatever it's going to be, a teleporter. Teleport you to that ship's uh, nearest gravity module. Yep. And maybe he'd hack into the doors or something. Oh yeah, that, take, that like... branch is off of all of the above, really. That definitely does. Because um, obviously if you have the ability to attach yourself to a ship in the first place, it opens the door for an ability to get them off somehow. So like, for example, if you had um, magnetized boots, you could have a block which had anti-magnetic properties, and then they can't go walking around your uh, crew areas because the boots don't work and they get shaken off or you have a system that modularizes the magnetic pattern of the hull and so anyone that's stuck to it just gets booted off you know so and obviously again with the anti-docking system you'd want to have some kind of hacking thing like a mini game so that you couldn't just have just attached to any cutter hey we'll have a laser cutter yeah, or a laser cutter, exactly. There's more meta. I mean, obviously, I think once you're attached to the ship, the next phase is how do I get in? Because obviously, you can use your blasters and try and shoot through his shields. <laughs> but uh, unless we get the weaponry take that does that... Long time. Hey, it would take a while unless there was something for that, like a cutting laser, which, for example, might cut through blocks but ignore shields. You, know, you could do like a keypad cracker kind of thing where it would like knock the shields out. Or just open the door that you use it on. <laughs> right. <laughs> That'd be great in fact. Because then it would open up the whole point of actually having a turret in your ship pointing at the door. So if someone hacks your door, <laughs> they've got to like take a turret out as well before they can get near your cabin. And then the cutting laser gives them the ability to just try and burrow through above the core and see if they get there fast. <laughs> so there's there's lots of things you can do once you're actually on what you're trying to go for. Um, and I think they've got pretty much, I think they've pretty much got a lot of this stuff down. I keep saying this, um, but it's true. <laughs> you know. But I just want to sort of start a discussion up around it because one day we're all going to be sat here going. Remember when we had that chat about this, and then and then we'll be looking at what's up, what actually happened, you know, and and then it, I think it would just be nice to to look back on for one, to see what actually happens and go, ha, ah, we were ridiculous, you know, because <laughs> we're probably really wrong, <laughs> you know, but I just love it, so. Close. Can anybody think of anything else? Well, don't you think if you can hack into ship stores, wouldn't you be able to do the exact same thing with space stations? Since yeah, yeah, well, well that's the thing. This kind of boarding thing could become a, a thing on planets. On that's the beauty of StarMade. It's not just for ships. All of these sorts of things just translate straight into uh, station wars, planet wars. What about anything? For different types of Because what if you're flying along and someone's managed to get in your ship and he hacks your core? You just get ejected out and you just, you just see your ship pull in front of you, I turn around, <laughs> and you're like, wait, I... what? And then you respawn. <laughs> see, this is the I thing. Think... But the problem with hacking is you can't just have an item that allows you to just hack it. There's got to be something more to it than that, you know? I, I would like to see a system so that you'd actually have to build something on a ship. You'd have to hack remotely from a ship, you know. It would also make the crew members very useful, though. Yeah, or maybe do that. Board. Maybe you'd need high-level crewmen, and one day the crews wouldn't, you know what I mean? You'd have, like, a crew, say he stuck with you for a long time, you know, he'd just get better. And one day he'd be able to hack stuff, you know. <laughs> or you'd have to go on an NPC lure mission, and he'd learn hacking. And then you could like tell him to go hack that door and he'd go hack that door and it would open and you'd go in <laughs> you know kind of like a uh, r2d2 oh uh, yeah that that would be useful hmm i'm really surprised nobody's made an x-wing with an r2d2 turret head i'm just <laughs> just putting that out there it'd just be a core 
it would just be a core. Well, no, you'd have to be a little bit inventive with it, you know what I mean? But I'm just surprised no one did it, because it would work so make well. It as you could make as, uh, camp, uh, Yobi's cam bar. Because you could make the camera eye a little, like, little yeah. turret. Yeah, but you'd have, to, you'd have to make the thing so freaking huge just to get... Because the R2-D2 is, like, sphere. what, like, two and a half feet? Well, like, make a mini one! Less than three feet. Make a mini yeah. one, dude. Yeah, but then it'd just be... Then he would just be a, uh, a, a core. make it really big x thing. <laughs> Blue, like white, a big with one camera, I just suggested that one way. camera in space, and um, a red light. Nice. Okay, so there are a few things in the chat which I want to read out. So, basically, on the subject of boarding, what we have is at Mortna007, or Mort Morton, Morton007, Mortna, sorry mate, Mort3NA007, he's saying, da -da 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 -da, jackhammer, and then, EMP, and then Spec789 said, yeah, power tools, and then Morton A07 <laughs> said, that guy, yeah, and then Spec7, well, he didn't say that guy, okay, he said, yeah, power tools again, and then Spec789 said, all for boarding, what about piercing spikes that drive through hull and let you in, and Morton's like, yes, and then he said, it's an E. Oh, right. There's an example Morton. of uh, spikes that will let you in on uh, Star Wars. Hey. The CIW or CFAS or something like that. They have um, oh. uh, specialized ships. Yeah. They use four. Oh, it just sounds like you cut out. That they pierce to the hole, then they spread out. Ah, the so in other words, what you're saying is some kind of thing that actually collides and does damage and then hooks yeah. in. Unfor yeah. I think that is really cool, but I really worry about because of the way we have collision mechanics in this game. Yeah. I mean, I think it would be something that would only actually work with the collision thing on. But it's a nice idea. Yeah. And I do know what you mean. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, but going back to power tools, which seem to be the thing that they both agreed with. Power tools. So basically, yeah, we're talking drills. <laughs> we're talking jackhammers. Drills, jackhammers. Um... Right. Obviously, your little hacking PDA thingy, I think, should just be part and parcel, you know? I think it'd be a very useful thing to be able to get on someone's ship and then hack one of their turrets to shoot back at their own core, for example. I don't know, maybe that's going a little bit too much, but, um, you know, the idea you hack the faction module on the turret or something, and it just switches, it flips, you know? So you could probably send people in. <laughs> But anyway, that's all stuff for like way, way off. So let's swiffle things around real fast and talk about transporters. So when we talk transporters, we're obviously talking about teleportation, a la Star Trek, beam me up, Scotty. Um, there is in fact <laughs> another way of using a teleporter, which you may have seen in things like Halo, Doom, going back. Basically, it's just a torpedo that you stick your dude in. Uh, in, with or without a drop pod, sometimes they have a suit, which is basically a drop pod, you know, and it's, uh, you know, we've got astronaut suits, we can drop all the way down to planets, there's no fall damage at the moment. Uh, effectively all it is, is uh, you point the tube at the planet, you jump in, and it's like a gravity elevator, you know, it just shoots you at high speed, so if you were to imagine 10 times fall speed until you hit something, <laughs> You know, that's, the ODST. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Oh, basically, that's pretty much it, ODST style. Um, so that is one way of doing transporters. Because obviously, when you look at it, you wouldn't really see them. They'd just be like blip, and they'd be there. You know. So that's one way of doing it, and you could probably do that with the existing gravity mechanics that we actually already you, have. You can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With it's just the a question of making it. Them so all you need is a superpower gravity block that actually projects like a 200 long thing, regardless of how many blocks there are. Do you know what I mean? Because at the moment you're limited by yeah. the entity. So say if you had one that always sends you 200, you know, or as far as you until you hit something. Um, I don't even know if that's possible. But hey, um, and obviously we got the actual Star Trek transporter. So if there was a transporter block, how would it work, guys? Let's floor that. Well, the problem is, is well, we need coordinates, and that's how they worked. In, at least in Star Trek, they would have coordinates of where they would go. Right. But 
but, use there's sectors in Star Maiden not coordinates. Ah uh, no, that's not true. You can actually use there's in, coordinates there are yeah there are interior coordinates and they actually have a point. So you can you can go in increments of point one, you know, around the sector with I think is it eight the middle? I forget now. I think eight. Oh yeah, eight, I see. I see what you mean. I just opened up my chart docking system and it has coordinates. Yeah, it's 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 funny. I can't remember exactly, but as far as I know, there is a way to do that. So I think that maybe part of the mini game would just be learning where you teleport yourself to, and eventually you'd get the feel that you no, you don't go there because you're going to teleport into a mountain. Obviously, a good thing would be like some kind of overlay. So you look in the computer, and it would show you what the numbers were with some kind of grid, and then the only thing you've got to estimate is the actual height or the distance. You know what I mean? Like it could say you were looking at a planet, for example, from above, and you'd look in it like a bombing computer, and you'd have like, you know, those are the numbers there, those are the numbers there, and they would change depending on your location. So then all you've got to do is say, oh, I want to go that far. You know how far away the planet is, so you could roughly estimate it. But, so like the, the mini game would be, you'd have to be Mr. Scotty, you know, you, you'd have to remember, you'd have to figure it out. You wouldn't just be able to. That would, that'd be, that'd be one way of doing it. And obviously, you could you have all kinds of transporter accidents, wouldn't you, in the process of learning how to make it work? <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. And also, if you do it that way, you would get so good at it that you'd get people being able to fly over a space, over a state, over a uh, thing, over a planet. Look down. Go, ha ha! There's someone there. Type in the exact right coordinates teleport them up to their ship because people get good at stuff <laughs> it, you'd have to uh, accept that if someone said this person's trying to beam you up you'd have to like okay oh accept. well that's an easy mode to be honest if you had like a communicator system mm -hmm. and you get a little beep beep you'd look at it someone's trying but... to beam you up accept we don't need any of this positional stuff because <laughs> you just go okay and it, the game teleports you to above the teleporter block for example like yeah, but you still have to choose the person. Because all it is really is an undetonator. For telling some, for teleporting somebody back to the ship, it's an undetonator. You know, you've got a transporter on your ship. Obviously, you can't use it when you're moving. <laughs> People would know that. So, you know, like exactly like you said, you could send them a message in game. Oh, do you want to teleport? And they go, yeah, just like we do now. Bing. Please your ship up. All it would do is. It would kick you out of the whatever ship you're in, if you were in a ship. <laughs> uh, change your spawn point to the teleport block, and then kill you without killing you. You know what I mean? So that you just respawn at that point. So that that's the sort of thing that's really easy. The hard part is getting you down there in the first place. Oh, cheers, Morton. Yeah, like the, 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 the hard part is getting you there because obviously, you know, you look at it and you can't really tell what you're looking at. Um, I mean, one way of doing it is, you know how we have the sort of C system where you can select a block? I was thinking uh, if you get into this teleport teleporter, you know, um, you could have F selected on the person or it could just teleport everybody in a radius of the, of the path, you know. Um, you, you go in the machine, the computer, and then you just sort of push C. You just need line of sight. And if you push C, when you activate it, teleports everyone there. Like a group jump command. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Cause, but, but that's the only way I can think, because otherwise you have to actually tell people, like I say, you've got to get people to like learn the uh, XYZ system to the point that they can just look at a planet from any given point and go, ah, that's 23, 44, 65, or, or whatever. I don't know, that's probably bad numbers, but you, you know what I mean. Um, and I think that might be a little intense if there was no GUI to assist that. So... I think it would probably be more likely that you see where you want to go, select it, everyone stands on the pad, turn it on. <laughs> well, what about like if it were to reduce you to atoms to, or molecules basically to a 
will be somewhere else. Well, I think that is the point of what the... Yeah, that is definitely what would happen. Um, but I mean, like, if for the purposes of the actual game mechanic, how would you balance it? You know? How do you balance it? Like, say, a one person limit to teleport? Because I kind of like shuttles. I kind of like how people have to build shuttles, and I would be sad if they could just get a meta item for a teleport for a truck for a communicator. Have you could put built... a teleporter on a shuttle too. Yeah, true, but it would be a little sad if people could put a teleporter pad in the ship, go to a planet, and as long as their ship wasn't too far away, they just click the button and choo, back to the ship. It would make shuttles redundant. Oh my. No, not, not necessarily. No. They can't transport cargo from your ship to the planet via teleport because you would need to put it inside the shuttle mm -hmm. and then fly the shuttle down to the planet. Well, I suppose you could make them so that they're limited range, so that limited you know range. it wouldn't be practical. So it wouldn't limited be practical. Yeah. Or ah, yeah, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's going to use power, but. I wouldn't imagine it using that much. It wouldn't be like something like FTL that would nuke everything. Um, or well, it could have a time delay of it. So you couldn't teleport to the planet, grab something and teleport back to the ship. You would have to spend a few minutes or so down yeah. on a planet and well, let it cool down. It's an interesting one. Because you don't want it to be too set in stone, you know? You want it to be a little bit loose so that people can come along from, like, Doctor Who and make a transmat beam with it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I liked how in Star Made you can make your own, you know? It doesn't have to be a Star Trek teleporter, or sorry, a Star Trek transporter. It could be anything, you know? It could be a bloody Quantum Leap thing if you wanted, you know? Um, so, I don't know, there's got to be more ideas, like... There are personal teleporters that certain characters use in fiction, like, you know, so he's got a belt, and he hits it. Oh, Deadpool. Deadpool has a belt, he hits it, and it teleports him somewhere random, because it's always broken. Do you know what I mean? Or it just doesn't work. But it's a comedy, isn't it? So that's part of the charm. But, like, that idea, an emergency teleport belt... <laughs> That just teleports you somewhere else. Like they have that. It's called push up when stuck and block. <laughs> they already have it, do they? Yeah, the push up when stuck and block. Well, it's a free matter item, then, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but you... that's only when you exit. You just exit your ship. True, though. true. Okay, but when you good. think about it, it's a free matter item. All he has to do is hook up that mechanic to some item which you could have in your inventory. Oh, you're stuck in your ship somewhere. Click this button, and it will relocate you to somewhere else. Site, site transport. Yeah, I think that's kind of cool, especially as um, Smaug we... was sporting one in the latest Star Trek movie, <laughs> which renders we, all spaceships we already around, have, but yeah. <laughs> we, we already have a often of a site to site transport that the admin command. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the command. Oh, they... Yeah, the commands are already there. But how is about yeah, we hook them up to something? Way of hooking yeah. them. Hook them the up to something in the game. To an item or something. Exactly. Like, for example, the jump command. You could get access to use the jump command using this rocket pole or something, right? And every time you click the rocket pole, it'll instantly rocket you to where you pointed it. But you have to point it at something. A bit like the jump command, yeah? <laughs> right? And, but it doesn't work, it only works once every 30 seconds or something, so you can't just spam it, you know what I mean? And uh, that would be useful for catching up with your ship. I mean, I, I, I prefer... Sort of like a reload. Yeah, I, I prefer the idea of rocket boots, but it's only because I watched this trailer recently, and it was amazing. And the ship designs in it were great as well. I can't remember what it was called, I think it was called Jupiter Rising. But no one seems to have heard about it. So. I think I watched it a while ago. Yeah, I don't even I think, think it's, it's out old, though. Old a bit. Well, the. Uh, Hang on. The trailer. No, it's not out yet. It's made by the people that did uh, The Matrix. It's going to be out this year. It's called Jupiter Ascending. That's what it is, not Jupiter Rising. Yeah, Jupiter I'm Ascending. Isn't there a trailer? 
Yeah, there is a trailer, yeah. Yeah, I saw the trailer. But they have these rocket boots and they're cool. And everyone always does jetpacks. <laughs> so I was like, hey, we've got this whole skeleton model thing. Bet someone could totally make some really cool looking boots that will go on Dave. And then you could just like, boom. You know, but I don't know. It's just an idea. Um, but yeah, like the, just giving players access to existing commands u using some kind of meta item is quite cool. Like, I don't know, I haven't seen many suggestions on stuff like that. Um, but the idea of giving people like a, an item that gives them the ability to teleport out, like with the stuck command. Well, it's not a stuck command, is it? But it's kind of like that. Oh my, I think I've been disconnected. Oh, I was too. Oh. oh my. It was right oh after my. I got something. I'm not sure if that was me. I, I crashed. I'll just say it to you. Are you guys having like this meeting at a station or something? No, we're just chilling in team speak, chatting about no, stuff. Okay. We're nearly done, up. actually. We're nearly just wanted to make sure it wasn't missing. No, no. We need that. We need a, like a discussion station. That would be cool. It would. I think we should do it on the discussion table in the news ship, but I haven't got it uploaded to the server yet. Speaking oh. of which, I have got a little feature planned later, which I'd love some help with. And the more the merrier, I'd guys. I'd to help. Nice. What do you yeah, know about chairs? chairs? No, it's not what you know about chairs, unfortunately, but you're going to like it, so... Um, that was funny. I'll be there. So, the server still hasn't this, loaded for me. we got to get this transporter discussion finished. <laughs> um, the idea of making the transporter basically the jump command is actually kind of cool. <laughs> you know, only it would jump everyone stood on it. Or, you know, so then you, you could build them, and when you trigger it, uh, get off they go. <laughs> Tom. Yeah. Uh, we, we have the docking beam, and we have other beams. True, but it's got Why quite a short we... range. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. the jump command, you can jump it, across it, an entire sector if you want. Yes, but the but idea you... is um, we have well, a beam. Um, we have a beam. True, true. I'm trying to connect to the server, it's not working. True, but many of, the mind, many of the systems don't have a beam, though, you see. So you're kind of forcing it's, people to have a beam. I mean, maybe if you had the option of having a beam, I think that would be kind yeah. of more in keeping. Uh, but I don't know. If this is mainly for a group chance. You have a beam. You yeah. pre-select the target to get out of ship. You go onto the pad mm. and you type whatever or hit something. And you basically jump. From the point you're at to the point where you left the uh, destination for a laser at. It's interesting. It's interesting for sure. I'm going to sleep. It, you need to take a nap. Yeah, it's back. The up. server's down. What do you do? Get a drink, read a book, or commit seppuku? Uh, seppuku every time. This happened to me earlier, but I was able to reconnect immediately. It's probably because I was plugging a movie that hasn't come out by accident, and so we got shut down by the legal team. They can't have free advertising. We have to pay for that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> but yeah, rocket boots. <laughs> right. So, hello to everybody who is currently watching. We were just having a little bit of a discussion on the... Um, a few things, in fact. We covered FTL, we covered tractor beams, we covered boarding, we went through every single type. It was pretty fun. Um, and now the server is back up. Thanks, Smelter. We're going to uh, go and check out. We're back. Is everybody here? Yes. I'm excellent. I'm loading, yeah. I'm loading excellent. up my Starmate. Okay, beautiful. So basically, um, we were sort of wrapping up on transporters, really. We covered the ODST style super grav launcher thing. Uh, we covered the transporter pads using energy, range stuff. You know, um, what did we do? What did we do? Is there anything else that we didn't do? Oh, yeah, that was it. We were talking about meta items. That allow limited use of admin commands um, you know not doing things like jump things like 
Um, or tab F8. When you get stuck, you know, um, and say you get stuck inside a ship and you could hit this button and it would just do a site to site transport. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything else that might have been missed because of that crash. Um, but yeah, basically. Was there anything else you guys want to add here? Well, there's one no. thing I was thinking about. Um, maybe if you're in the same sector as a bunch of people, maybe you can use the transporter, maybe. One second. Yes, indeed. I totally agree. <laughs> I don't know what to say, bro. Uh, you kind of got to the point there and had to run away. So, I uh, don't know when you're coming back. <laughs> so on that basis, meta items. So... Anybody? Literal a, ban hammer. A ban hammer. What a hammer that you can hit people with. Oh, ban melee ban. items. We've oh. just stumbled into new territory, guys. Thunder so stars. then, uh, melee weapons? Hashtag? Question mark? Hashtag. Lightsabers. Lightsabers. Good start. Good start. Because people oh, were already doing did that, that, so. Yeah, they were already doing it with um, the replicators, fabricators. So I think um, epic source will be had. So does anybody else think of anything? You know, you know, anybody else? No. Nope. We have a pistol, which isn't a melee weapon, but you Rifle. could put a sword on it. You need to be able to <laughs> pistol whip people. You need to be able to pistol whip people. How about a sword rifle? There you go. Just throwing that out there. Yeah. Chainsaw. We need, we need rifles. Yeah, so you can fire the rifle and right click to slash like a bayonet, you know? Old or do a... It could be like or the uh, like Warhammer them. Marines, they have like that chainsaw on the bottom of their rifle. Oh, mm. oh, oh look, we have Cowboy in here. Oh, hello, hello. Calvary. You guys obligatorily have to point me out. Sorry, I can never bro, learn. Yes, do. Well, you come up on the screen so <laughs> everyone knows. Like in the stream oh, as well. Right oh, top. that's new. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone could see. I think people were saying hello to you in the chat earlier there. I, I was. Know. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, how is it going, mate? We're just having a little discussion on um, weapons and tools. I think we've finally ended up on. Yeah. Like tools. Yeah, we got no idea what we're like talking about. Melee weapons and whatnot. <laughs> pure speculation. Is being we need bad. picks. Yeah, we need. No, nobody yeah, no. has said we that actually. Picks. They've all said cutting torches, for, but that was in the boarding discussion when we were trying to figure out how you would actually board a ship and do all of that. Um, but but yeah, like we're getting on to uh, melee weapons now. It, it, isn't a cutting torch just like you know a handheld laser? Pretty much. W w wouldn't that yeah, get the same of. effect? Yeah, it would, but it would be... What, what, what we're thinking is sort of like... You've got items that you've already got. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, there's there's stuff that you've already got that isn't an item, so only an admin can use it, and stuff like that. Uh, I was thinking something along the lines of what Star Trek uses, you know, just set your phasers to cutting torch. That's a good idea, actually. Like a menu when you have the pistol in your hand that has settings. Well, you don't even have to have that, just, you know, shoot the wall, it damages the wall, now there's a hole in the wall. Oh yeah, true, true, there's a hole. true, true. I think, I think, what were we talking about? There was a rifle? But the thing is, these are just settings, like you say, it's like, it's just a different fire rate or damage or yeah. range. Well, that's all it even is. with the, even with the pistol right now, if you shoot a wall block enough, it's gonna break. Oh yeah, definitely. Did you see the boarding video? We did a video. No. Video. Oh mate, that was ages ago. Boarded by Riven and General Von Doom. Oh, Specs, you like that idea? Uh, you know, Space Welders? <laughs> we could call it um, Engineers in Space or uh, space something like that. <laughs> well, basically, it's not I'm... funny if you directly point out the name. Yeah, well, basically. Um, I, I was talking with someone earlier, and uh, yeah, I was like, "Don't oh, tell everyone my secret." He's like, "Nuclear weasels." I'm like, "Nuclear weasels." Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, addressing that, someone did ask for um, the ability to hack a door. So you're on a ship, you're trying to breach it. Sure, you can he shoot that out. But there's another thing. 
And there were all kinds of crazy things that people were talking about on that. Or maybe it was just me. Probably just me. The hacking would depend on tall. the, uh... Yeah. That would kind of depend on the logic system that Schema puts in. Yeah. Well, obviously, we're not trying to, you know... We don't, I don't, I'm not trying to I... tell anyone what to do. We're just throwing I'm ideas just saying, out there. I, 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 I don't know logic systems very well, mm. so I'd have to wait and see what he put in before I could even try and come up with ideas. The concept is great, but I mean, like, implementing it, yeah. it's like, we want to make this thing. We don't know what it's made out of yet, though, so... Ether. Um, Pure ether. Ether's actually a great word for it, because that's a name for something you don't know anything about. Uh, <laughs> now we do. Well, well, amazing, right? I can make one word suddenly. Ether. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> Excellent.